Hello everybody, it's Jay Lee and it's time for the next episode of DWA Introductions. This time we will be going over another roleplay character, a new one that I've created uh, on here. It had existed in my roleplay time with my ex for some time. So, let me introduce you. Get comfortable. Alright, we will introduce to you Christina Alexander. Christina Alexander is the daughter of Mina, uh, Eris's queen, and I guess you could sort of say their ultimate rival who Mina was sort of in an abusive, controlling relationship with until she realized how corrupt he was, named Lucian Alexander. Now, depending on the parallel of the story that we decided to play out, she could be a face or a hill, but I've decided to make her a face. But you can honestly change that if you feel so needed. Something to know about Christina. You can see, pretty standard outfit, long blonde hair. is she was born 1722, I believe it was. And she is a vampire, at least in the roleplay story. Um, she's married to another character that I finally got around to creating named Janus Lee, uh, who was born 1641. Well, technically it's Janus Lee Williams or Janos Williams for sure. Um, and uh, they kind of been together. They serve under Mina's castle. She has her moments of being a spoiled princess. No more than her sister Denai, who would be impossible to create in this game. Denai is a dragonoid creature. She hasn't yet learned to control her form, so she is in permanent bubbly boo-like dragon, uh, very bouncy. She bounces around everywhere because of her weight. It's hard for her legs to work, and she's half human, uh, so until she grows into it, she's going to have problems. Well, this one took more of a human, human form, I guess you could say, with the perks of being a vampire. She was born this way. Half vampire, half dragon, but her dragon side is very suppressed. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think I pretty much gave, I mean, there's not like a lot of backstory for her. She's the princess of the queen and the daughter of probably the most horrible person since Hitler level. Lucian Alexander, which we'll get to him. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you uh, her personal information. She was born, like I said, in the early 17th century. I want to say it was 1722. Um, she was born in basically what equivalents to Brooklyn, New York. It's not the Brooklyn you know nowadays, but it's a form. And, uh... Looks pretty good for her age, I think. Let's go ahead and show off her move set real quick. She's definitely not someone you want to take light-handed. She's been trained by the Queen's guards and by the Queen herself, the King, and uh, her husband, Janos, uh, have taught her plenty of ways of defending herself. So even though she may look small, uh, don't underestimate her speed and strength, as well as her unique fighting abilities. Yes, kitty, I know. I swear, I start recording and my cat jumps right up in my lap. I, I think she thinks I'm talking to her. 
He stares at me too. It's weird. All right, so we go through. Uh, she's going to do a lot of slaps, some forearms, a couple body kicks. Standard. Uh, Very agile, very fast, and she can do some strong stuff too. Since I needed to pick a move set for her to kind of be based off of, so I knew the direction to go, I ended up picking. Mickey James. I thought that was actually a pretty good move set for her. Personality is probably pretty similar to Mickey. Very cocky. Not very um, ladylike for her time. Let's put it that way. I mean, nowadays, it's not a big deal, but back in the early 17th century, you, you know, women were very suppressed and kind of made to be only good for so many things. And she did not fit into that mold at all. And trust me, plenty of guys tried to put her in her place because of this. But, um, well, let's just say they didn't succeed. And if they're lucky, they only had to have a hospital visit. Roll through this aspect real quickly. Not a lot going on. Move set wise, standard stuff you've seen. She's not uploaded yet. Um, I can upload her if you want, but I'm very limited on space on what I can upload, which is so freaking frustrating that they give us. 100 creative slots, but only let us upload 80. That's frustrating. But I can, if you want. So let me know in the comment section below. come up with names for these moves yet so if you could think of something that would fit a 17th century vampire princess with an attitude problem uh, please comment below her main moves are this one let's see that one more time this one again and And that's it. Let me know in the comment section below what you would name them. And uh, if I like it, I'll let you know and I'll use it. Like I said, she's a new character. I haven't had a chance to write her up. Standard, you know, dark taunts. This is the only different one to the standard dark stuff. Her paybacks are uh, mist and resiliency because being a vampire, she can mist blood if she wants to. Let's go uh, check her out in the ring, shall we?
That'll be interesting. Yeah, Christina was more of like a... I mean, they had some... Her and Janos had some interactions, and they had a pretty good backstory. But her main thing was kind of not the main focus of the story, but she did contribute to it at times. Like, before the king dated uh, Mina when he first got to the castle, Beowulf, um, Dominic dated her for a while, and they had a pretty steamy love affair. So Dominic has both uh, hit it off with the daughter and the best friend, slash guardian, and the queen. The following what can I say? My ex really likes to act out. Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Christina Alexander. So, with that being said, definitely not going to be looking for that. Um, yeah, they, uh, Dominic's had his go around. They need to fix the hair. Uh, she loves the reaction she receives from the WWE bit. Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner. Money in the Bank contract holder. NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold, too. Hey, if you want to earn no, a spell, if you want to make a name for yourself either. in the women's division, you got to go through the Empress. A truly destructive force, a buzzsaw in the women's division. If you are lacing them up, oh, awesome. be prepared that's for freaky. the fight of your life. Yeah, how come you can't pick up the mask and like beat people up with that? I'll give you my two cents on AEW tonight. It's extreme rules, folks, and the action can leave you really? speechless. Corey, how does a competitor adjust to this brutality? She well, kicks, I dodge, I drop kick, and you can't miss her. Is within the rules. Oh, what the fair, fuck? Love the world, and that goes for extreme rules, too. What would you know about love, Byron? But anyway, the pin or submission has to be in the ring to win. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Escape just in time. My favorite kind of thrashing, Cole. Oh, a strong impact! Oh, look at this. This is not going to be nice. What is happening here? Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt! Oh, repeated headbutts! Oh, she hit the corner hard. To the corner, and an elbow for good measure. Oscar timed that one well. Uh-oh. Crap, my, my TV literally blanked out for a second. That's not good. That kind of fucked me up, son. What the hell? has their eyes fixated on the Empress. Getting back into the ring. Damn it. No one can say she's not bad. Up like this, what could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This 
is an environment where a competitor can be reminded I've had this PlayStation 4 for like five years now. I had to have it massively repaired one time, so I don't know how much of the damage to it. Could have been a glitch, or I may have to eventually get a new PlayStation 4. Maybe just save up and get the PlayStation 5 then. I don't know. To the outside. I said gives me no choice. To get one. A table. And guys, I don't think there will be any place settings. Taking this one back. Come on, you want to put me on a table? We don't often see Oscar in this possession. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the others. The table carefully being placed in the corner. Bad intentions, no doubt.
step too far. Get some control in there. Oh, and his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Anything Asuka is trying is being suppressed. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. She's set back in under the ropes. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh would definitely leave a welt. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. No! Oscar might be able to start mounting something here. Yeah, but Oscar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. He keeps carrying my finisher. She's doing a good job carrying out her game plan. Reversal after reversal. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Off of my team, old fade. She just won't. Ah, she had resiliency. I didn't realize that. And I lucked out there. Superstars must be feeding off the WWE universe. This place is starting. Come on. There's a takedown. Big knee in the midsection. time guys peace out